Hey Gadget Groupies, some Gadget Guy here with a quick case review. Now you guys know I've been a little cranky about Samsung's build quality over this generation of larger screen phones especially, like glass backs and the aluminum sides, and I lost a Note 5, the only phone I've ever broken during, during a review because it took a corner drop and landed on its side and just this teeny little dent in the aluminum here destroyed everything on the inside of the phone. And so I've been very critical of this style of build quality because I feel this means you need to leave the house with a case for it to survive sort of daily abuse. Well, the folks at Urban Armor Gear took pity on me and sent over a couple cases to review, one of them for the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. Uh, this is, of course, for the iPhone 6S. We're going to do a separate video on that. But uh, in my excitement to get a case on this thing, I threw away the box. So I need to apologize to Urban Armor Gear for not showing off the right box for this case. And this is their clear, rugged bumper case for the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. I really like the design and the practical elements built into this piece of hardware. It's semi-rigid, you've got a little flex going on, so it should do a pretty good job of absorbing bounces and shocks, and everything has sort of a reinforced bevel edge going along the outer side of the case just to protect the screen. And then we have these little uh, sort of shock absorbers here on the inside. I thought these were a little silly at first, but they may actually make a lot of sense. I had a, a ThinkPad back in the day, which had this big rubber cushion. It was like a little rubber baby bottle nipple thing right under the hard drive. So if you ever dropped your laptop flat down, that should absorb the shock of a drop. We kind of see something similar here in that these should act independently of the rest of the case to help minimize any internal damage from drops, especially if the phone lands flat straight down. All right, popping it into the case is super easy. Just snaps on just like that. And and uh, that was all it took to install. And the case has a mostly clear but slightly grayish or smoky tint to it, so the bluish color of the Galaxy starts to help infuse the case with the look of the phone. This case does add some girth, but part of the reason why is because we want to be able to give a nice little trench around things like the camera. And we can protect the camera from drops or shock just by having a little extra clearance in case this does land flat on its back. Now happily, they haven't gotten too aggressive on this side by the fingerprint scanner. That was was actually a problem on some of my Galaxy S6 cases where getting a finger in there can be a little bit trickier if there's a hard beveled edge, a hard trench right by the fingerprint scanner. So having a little bit more of a taper makes this a little bit easier to use. There's not a lot going on on the top of the phone, but we do have a nice large cutout for one of the microphones. And we've got good clearance for everything on the bottom of the phone. I haven't had any issues with headphones, uh, connecting even right angle connectors seem to plug in just fine. Although I have had a couple USB ports where maybe there was just a little extra plastic shielding on the port that seems to get in the way of this lip right here. That's a your mileage will vary depending on what cables you're using with the Galaxy, but the Samsung cables seem to do just fine because I think Samsung's whittled back on some of that extra plastic. And of course our iPhone style speaker grill vents just fine out the bottom of this case. Now I love the volume rocker design because it has an even more distinct taper. We've got these cutouts for where it starts and stops, and then it's got a nice rounded scoop to it so you can feel very quickly where up and down is. Uh, on a lot of cases, this it's the buttons, it's the volume rocker starts to get a little gummy and indistinct from the rest of the sides of the case. We do not have this problem on Urban Armor. This is a great clicky action that translates the actual button feel just fine, and your fingers naturally find exactly what they're looking for. Ditto the power button. While we have all of this sort of ribbed for the phone's pleasure side casing, there's a different texture on the power button. You can very quickly find what you're looking for. Your thumb naturally hits one of these corners and you're able to turn the phone on very quickly. And Urban Armor has inadvertently landed back on some of my favorite design elements from phones like the Galaxy Note 4. There's just a little bit of a corner cutout. These are reinforced corners. It looks a little like a cross between the Note 4 and the Active, the S6 Active. And that's the kind of Samsung style I really like. Now, I I know this is more Urban Armor's doing that this is how they make their cases, but this kind of brings the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus back to some of the design elements that I really like from last year's Samsungs. And like I mentioned earlier in this video, I think the Edge phones have an issue with the way that that metal striping on the sides gets so lean because of the curve of the screen. It makes it really hard because you're always trying to find that just that little bit of a fingertip edge that you can hold onto the device. And so when we put on a case like this, it just makes it so much easier to actually 
get a grip on what you're doing. I use the camera more on the Galaxy now that I can hold onto this phone and I'm not worried about my sweaty hands, you know, slipping the, the phone, popping out like a wet bar of soap. And even though we can't add bumper protection to the sides of the screen because of the way that this glass tapers, we have a very nice edge right here on the top and bottom on the forehead and chin, giving us some clearance for when that phone's going to land face down. Now, Urban Armor claims their cases will add mil-spec 810G drop and shock protection to your phone. You guys should know by now I am not a fan of gadget destruction porn, so I will not test the damage capabilities of things like rugged cases or underwater cases, but everything that I'm seeing in this case design is going to add more lifestyle durability to a product that I think is a little more fragile than it should be. And I suppose that means we should probably talk about price. Now, retail on this is $39.95, but I've been able to shop Urban Armor cases on a variety of online retailers for around $25 to $28. Bucks. So when we're talking about an $800 phone, that's not a huge chunk of change to give yourself a a little bit more survivability, a little more peace of mind when you're out and about using your fantastically sexy metal and glass glowing rectangle. I'll of course leave some links down below this video where you can find more information on Urban Armor cases and shop these puppies online. As always folks, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more little reviews like these and I would not be able to continue producing on this channel if you all weren't out there supporting it. Either by shopping using all of the affiliate links below each of my videos or by buying my book, Take Better Photos, Smartphone Photography for Noobs is now available on Amazon. And of course, sharing my videos on your favorite social services like Twitter and Facebook and Reddit and the Googles Plus is always greatly appreciated. And I can't thank you enough for bringing more cool people to the party. So hit that thumbs up button and I will catch you all on the next review.